Can this Anker Solix F3800 power station, along with the Anker Solix home power panel, supply my house during a power outage? Let's hook it up and find out together. Power outages are a major inconvenience, and they seem to be happening a lot more frequently now than ever before. At least they are in my area. And when they do occur, we're either out of power or we're out connecting, fueling, and running generators, oftentimes when weather conditions are at their worst. If I think an outage is only gonna last a couple of hours, I'll just wait it out. But I often think it'd be nice to have an automatic system to back up my power. Well, the Anker Solix F3800 and the Anker Solix home power panel promises to be that solution. Let's hook it up and see if it's up to the task. First, let's take a quick look at the unit and some of its features, and then we'll hook it up to the house and run some loads and see how it performs. While this power station's versatile design can be a partial or a whole home backup system, it's also a portable power station with loads of features. It's equipped with 80 EV class lithium iron phosphate batteries with a 10 year lifespan. It's about the size of a suitcase, but it weighs in at 132 pounds. Like a suitcase, it has this retractable handle and four wheels making it easy to move around. To carry the unit, we'll flip it over on its back. It has these two rubber bumpers designed in, so it sits perfectly on its back. It also has a lifting handle on the top and a hidden one here at the bottom. I use these handles to carry it down the stairs into my finished basement. It's a bit too heavy for this old man to carry all by himself, so I got some help carrying it down the stairs. The two handles make it really easy to carry with two people. On the front, we have the power on off button. We'll hold that button down for three seconds to turn the power station on. Just left of the power button, we'll see this button here, which turns the display on and off. The display will shut off automatically at whatever time you set up in the app. Yep, that's right. There's also a free app as well that allows you to set up, view, and control the power station from your phone. The phone app also has a feature that can help you save money on your electric bill. We'll go over that in more detail in a minute. This button with the phone icon is used to pair the phone app up with the power station and the phone app up with the home power panel as well. And then it connects the power station and the home power panel together as a system. You can use Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. It only took me just a few minutes and I had everything set up. Over here, we have the 12 volt DC car socket output. We can turn that on and off with this button right here. Then just below the display, we have three USB-C and two USB-A outputs for charging your devices. With Anchor being the worldwide top mobile charging brand, it's not surprising that they put the IQ technology into their charging ports. These will charge your devices much more efficiently and it's a nice added feature. And above the display, we have the light bar. The light bar is turned on and off with the app. And over on the side here, we have our AC output connections. And since the Anker Solux F3800 has a 6,000 watt inverter, we have some pretty impressive output capabilities here on this power block. On the top, we have a NEMA L1450. This is a 120, 240 volt, 50 amp receptacle with a 6,000 watt output. We also have a NEMA L1430 twist lock receptacle. This is a 120, 240 volt, 30 amp receptacle, and it also has a 6,000 watt maximum output. The L1430 is the same type of receptacle you'll see on your standard generator. So you can use your generator cable to plug into this receptacle and your generator inlet box and use the Solix F3800 to power your home. Then we have six 20 amp receptacles. The three on the right are standard receptacles, and the three on the left are UPS protected. That's right, the unit can also function as a UPS. To use the UPS function, we would connect the 120 volt charging cable to a wall receptacle in our home, and then connect our devices to the UPS backed receptacles for clean, uninterruptible power. 
And over here, we have our circuit protection. We use the on off button up here in the corner to control power to this block of receptacles. Press one time for the 20 amp receptacles and double push for the 30 and 50 amp connections. This power block of receptacles can be used for all sorts of loads, including charging an electric vehicle, powering up an RV, uh, backing up power to your home, or you can plug individual loads into the 20 amp receptacles. And since everything's powered from an inverter, you can run things like TVs, computers, and other electronics that you may not want to run from a standard backup generator. Then over on the other side of the power station, we have the Anchor Solix home power panel connection port. This is the way that I'll be using the unit. I'll connect it up and show you that in a minute. The home power panel connection also has a whopping 6,000 watts of output capacity. Below that, we have a 120 volt charging port. It comes with a charge cable that can be connected to a receptacle in your home and charge the unit at up to 1,800 watts per hour. This is also configurable in the app. This will charge the unit from zero to 100% in under two hours. Below that, we have two solar charging ports. I don't currently have solar panels, but I'm planning to buy some from Anchor so that I can charge the unit that way as well. Each of the two ports can input 1200 watts of charge for a total of 2400 watts. I think this will be a great way to use solar and the F3800 to save money by reducing my electrical bill. I can use solar to charge the unit and I can supplement my usage by using the power station to power my home through self-consumption mode for a few hours each day. So be on the lookout for that video in the future. Below the solar ports is the connection port for the expansion battery. This power station is very expandable. You can connect up to six expansion batteries per unit. The F3800 has a battery capacity of 3,840 kilowatts, or 3.84 kilowatt hours. Each expansion battery is also 3.84 kilowatt hours. So with six expansion batteries connected, you would have 26.9 kilowatt hours of capacity. The home power panel has an option to connect two F3800 power stations with another six expansion batteries for an impressive 53.8 kilowatt hours and up to 12,000 watts of output. When I first got this F3800 power station, I wheeled it all around the house and I tested it on all sorts of loads and it performed quite well. But I want you to see how it works. So let's connect up a few loads and we'll test it out. Then when we're done with that, we'll connect it up to the house and we'll do a real life power outage test and we'll see how it performs. Okay, I have a microwave oven. I've got my coffee maker and a oscillating fan all plugged into the F3800. Let's set two minutes here. The output to the microwave is 1230 watts. Let's start the coffee maker. Now the output is at 2650 watts. The coffee maker and the fan are running, but the microwave finished up. It's been about five minutes now and the coffee maker is finished and the only thing running now is the fan. At the current loading, the battery would last just over a day. Let's charge it back up. So right now we're at 1,421 watts of charge, one-tenth of an hour to charge it. This is obviously a very effective portable power station, but I'm primarily going to use it as my home backup system. Let's connect it up. We'll connect one end of the cable to the Anchor Solix home power panel and the other end to the F3800 power station. Then we'll turn on the circuit breaker for power station number one. This package included the Anchor Solix F3800 power station with cables and CTs, the Solix home power panel, a 12 circuit 125 amp sub panel, and the breaker to feed it. If you're not an electrician, you're probably going to need to hire one to install this setup for you. I am an electrician and I had everything mounted and connected in a few hours and then it took me a few more hours to bring over the 12 circuits. When picking my 12 circuits to back up, I knew that there were five things that I need to run during an outage. My well pump for water, which is this two pole 20 amp breaker. I need my boiler for heat and for hot water. I have a chest freezer full of food here in the basement and my refrigerator freezer up in the kitchen and the microwave oven so we can reheat or cook some food. Then the rest of the circuits, are just nice to haves. My office computer, 
the internet router, one TV, most of the lights in the house which are LED, the fire alarms, a few outlets in the kitchen and in the bathrooms. These 12 circuits get us by just fine during a power outage. And then to extend battery life, we only run what we need and when we need it. I could simply shut off my main breaker to engage the backup, but there's actually an easier way. I can use self-consumption mode on my phone app to draw power from the F3800 to supply my 12 circuit backup panel, even when utility power is still available. For the test, we'll slide this button over to about 60%. Now, the power station will supply the load until it reaches 40% capacity, and then it'll switch back to utility power. The beauty to doing it this way is that it's seamless, meaning that there's no interruption of power, so you won't be running around resetting clocks. As you can see, we're now drawing power from the F3800. Right now, I'm drawing about 400 watts, which is basically my home at rest. Most of that wattage is being consumed by my refrigerator and freezer and a few fans that are running. Let's run the microwave for a few minutes. With the microwave running, we're at 1.9 kW. We'll turn on a couple of lights. The lights are LED, so I'm not seeing much of an increase here. The microwave just finished up and we're back to about 400 watts. Let's run some water and get the well pump to kick on. You can see the spike in wattage when the pump runs. Let's let the house run on the F3800 for a while. We've been running on the F3800 for an hour now and we're down to 84% capacity. Now, if we slide the button back to zero, the load will go back to utility power and the power station will recharge. This current setup with no expansion batteries and no solar connected will realistically supply our needs for about five to seven hours during a power outage. I really like this setup and I'm really looking forward to expanding it with solar. If you're thinking about an easy, convenient, and automatic way to back up power to your home, the Anchor Solux F3800 and the Anchor Solux Home Power Panel is a great value for an affordable price. Save $2,499 on the Anchor Solux F3800 plus expansion battery during the FanFest Mega Sale. Click the link in the description to get deals and unlock exclusive fan perks. I'm John from Backyard, Maine. I'll see you on the next one.